Rob, what do you notice about these words? Mum, Dad, Pup. Oh, they could be... Uh, Pop. They could all be members of the same family. They could be. Anything or else? Or they could be palindromes. Which means? Uh, they spell the same backwards as they do forwards. Of course. And uh, you've almost certainly heard of this beachside suburb in Adelaide, Glenelg, which is G-L-E-N-E-L-G. G-L-E-N-E-L-G. That's a palindrome with seven letters. Mm -hmm. Well, I wonder what would be the longest palindrome in the English language. Oh. I'll tell you what, here's the longest one I know. It has right in the centre a V. See if you can uh, guess well, what it, it is. It could be Eve. It or could be, but it happens to have uh, an I on each e side. Nevin. Um, oh, I. I. Mm. Uh, Ivy. Uh, We're starting from the centre and moving uh, out. Give us a clue. All right. Well, then it has a D oh, divid, on each divid, side. Divide. Okay. It has uh, divide, e divide in it. E divide doesn't make uh, much sense re, by re itself. Redivide. Re -divide -er. Okay. Which is. I guess somebody who uh, in mathematics <laughs> divides once and then divides again. Let's just check it out. Um, R E D I V I D E R. Nine letters. Nine letters. And then we can go back. R E D I V I D E R. Mm. That's the longest palindrome I know. See if you can find a longer one. 